Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Some of the other things we've been working on is the fact that he gets a little, a little assertive when you put your hands near his mouth when he's got an object in it. Good pup. And Tug Ashley is an excellent tool to teach the dog to not resist and to cooperate. Good boy. Good dog. The incentive being is the dog gets the object back. Good pup. And it becomes an interactive game as opposed to a game where one being tries to possess the object from another one. And as you can see, I'm petting him. His tail's wagging, not getting a lot of resistance. He distracts pretty easily. My hands are right down by his mouth. Good pup. And he has a bit more bite inhibition than he did when he first came. When I go to reach for the object, he does not open his mouth on my hand. Okay, good pup. Okay. All right. And I'm actively tugging with him. I mean, he only weighs about two pounds. Good pup. All right. Good boy. Yeah. And when he releases it, I just give it back to him so that it's not a matter of me possessing an object that he covets, but we cooperatively share that object. It becomes the symbol for something the dog enjoys, which is interaction. Come here. Oh, good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Here. You ready? Go get it. Good pop. All right. So instead of him running off with it and hiding, he brings it right back because it represents yeah. good pop. It represents something that both he enjoys and that he would like to see continue. Okay. Good pop. So we decrease the likelihood of him not cooperating and being aggressive when he possesses an object. Hey, Press, come on, bud. Good boy. And increase the likelihood that he cooperates and brings the object to us willingly. Okay. Simple toy to make, a ball on a string. Let's parachute nylon. Good pup. Nice voluntary return retrieve there. A willing drop because he knows that the game continues. Good pup. All right. He's a clever little dog. Come here. Oh, good puppy. Come here. Here's the treat right there. Good boy. All right. Oh, no, no. Out. 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 And again, I'm not trying to rend it from him. I'm simply just taking control of the object and letting him decide whether to release it or to keep it. Out. I'm not making it uncomfortable for him. Out. Good. Okay. And I'm rewarding him for his immediate release by sending it back out for him to retreat. Good pop. Okay. That's it. Good pop. Uh -huh. As he matures, the need for the use of treats to lure him off the object will diminish once he starts realizing that the object represents the game. It's a give and take situation. Oh, right over it. Hey, press. Turn around, buddy. Oh, we got lost again. I'm going to let him hunt for it. which is both going to increase his, like, increase his desire to find the object. Okay. Let's go find it together. And then when he finds it, hopefully, he just walked right over it again. Your yeah, eyesight's not too good, big fella. Aha, there we go. Good boy. Now obviously he wants the game to continue. Because he had the choice to run away with it or to bring it back to where game is available. Huh? Good pup. Okay. And again, another voluntary retrieve. 
because he knows that there's game on both ends of this. Uh -huh. Let's try again, shall we? Good pop. All right, here. This is a 14 week old puppy. <coughs> He's a Maltese Yorkie mix, and his name is Presley, after the great musician Elvis Presley. Okay, good pop. All right. All right. Very nice. Good pop. It's easier to get flies with honey than it is with vinegar. There's a good boy. All righty. Come on. Here, come here.